Hello class, my name is Matthew Sokol and I'll be your instructor for Math 120, Nature of Mathematics. And what I wanna do in this welcome video is just kind of introduce you to the class, the layout, uh, talk about the course structure and show you where everything is so you feel very prepared once, you're, once the first few days of the class begin. All right, so first off, since it's an online course, um, our classroom is gonna be through Blackboard. So when you log into Blackboard, you're gonna see a list of all your courses. You're going to click on the one for our course, which is number 14686, uh, Nature of Math. So when you click on it, we could take, take it into a page that looks like this. Now let me switch to student preview mode so you can see. You'll always come into the announcements section of the class. There'll be an announcement for every week of the class. It'll kind of let you know what you need to be doing, um, any important information to update, and to help keep you on track, um, you'll get a weekly announcement. All right, so once you first log into the class, read any announcements that's there. And since it's the first uh, first time you'll be logging into the class, one of the first times, first thing you wanna do is click on the course syllabus tab right here. So click on the course syllabus. And what you'll first wanna do is download the course syllabus here, kind of just read over it yourself. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I also have it laid out for you here. So I'll go through the important details for you. Um, my name is Matthew Sokol, I'm your instructor for the course. I'm a, a assistant professor here within the mathematics department. I've been at WCC for about six years now, um, and I teach a wide variety of courses. And this will be my fourth time teaching this course. I'm doing. If you ever wanna stop by and see me, um, my office is in the technology building in room 30. It's kind of in the lower lowest level. Here are my office hours if you ever want to get in contact with me. Um, my email uh, are the textbook we will be using. I'll talk more about that in a second. And you're going to need a calculator for the course. Uh, uh, just any scientific calculator will be. I'll let you read through the course description and the course outcomes or the, and the course outline, like what chapters we're going to read, uh, be doing in the coming weeks. That I'll leave for you on your own. What you're probably interested in right now initially is, you know, how will my grade be determined through the course? So I want to spend some time talking about that. Uh, you're going to have homework assigned in this class. Um, and we're going to be using this system called the Wiley Plus system. If you look through back over the course outline, we're going to be covering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different chapters in the textbook. So you're going to get a graded homework for each chapter we cover. Each of these homeworks are going to be worth 50 points. Um, you can find links to the homework in the classroom. They're pretty straightforward. Um, homework should take you a couple hours um, total for each chapter, so it's not too bad. Uh, in addition to the Wiley Plus homework, we're going to have class discussions. This is participation in the course, in an online course. Um, you're required to participate in these discussions, and you need to follow the discussions due dates very, very diligently. Okay, that is most important. Um, I will not accept any discussion posts late. Um, so that's incredibly important that you stay on top of those. There's gonna be five discussions. Um, actually, the first two weeks of the class has the most discussions. You have a welcome forum, which is actually pretty easy, and, um, uh, and a chapter one discussion. Each one of these is a little bit of a typo here that I'll correct. Each of these discussions is actually worth 20. Uh, you have a midterm exam that's going to be a take home. It's going to be before spring break. And the same thing with the final exam, which will be a take home. Um, and that'll be during the last week of class, due to the last day of class. So homework's worth 50 points, discussions worth 20. Uh, you have a midterm exam and a final exam, each worth 75 points. You can see we have a total of 600 points in the class. I'm just going to take how many total points you have, divide it by 600, and that'll be your numerical grade right there. All right, if at any point you need um, help, please come see me. I'm always in my office and I also have the online office hours. Um, attendance policy, um, since this is an online course, your attendance will be monitored by checking classroom logins. Without regular attendance, it's difficult to exceed in the class. You really should be logging into the class at least three times per week. Um, students' disability policy, policy and the academic integrity policy are there for you as well. All right, so that's just kind of a quick overview of the course syllabus. 
As you saw in the course syllabus there, I said we're going to have discussions. So there's a tab over here called Discussion Boards. When you click on that, you see at least when the class first started, I'll have what the first forum is a general questions forum. Um, if you have any questions, please post them to the general questions forum. I will answer your questions as quickly as I can, Monday through Thursday. I'll check the classroom pretty much every day, Monday through Thursday. And then um, just provide a little bit extra time if you post questions on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I'll get to those as soon as I can. I've also posted for you your first two graded discussion forums. Um, they're there for you. Uh, you can see the requirements and what's expected of, of you in, in each of them. I've gone ahead and posted my own um, bio for the week one discussion forum. That's what um, the first discussion is. Um, so click through these and um, you should complete this week one forum, this welcome forum, excuse me, very early in the class. And you should complete the chapter one discussion forum after you read the first chapter. All right, so course syllabus discussion boards. The next thing here is the Wiley Plus resource page. Click on that. We're going to be using the Wiley Plus system um, throughout this course for both our textbook and our assignments. To register in the system, all you have to do is click this link, right, and it'll take you to the Wiley Plus homepage. Um, there's a set of instructions you will have to follow through to get that, including you'll need a um, uh, uh, Wiley Plus registration number. You will buy that, that uh, registration number either online or through the textbook. Let me show you what the Wiley Plus page looks like. So when you log into your, when you get to the Wiley Plus page, your page is going to look something like this, right? Um, the first tab up here is the link to the textbook to read, study, and practice. So if you click on that, it can take you to um, the, the course textbook you can see right here if you just click on this it'll take you right to the chapter opener you can read through this and then go through and read each section of the textbook now the downside of this is each section of the textbook textbook is listed as one page on a one web page so you know just just please read through it when you're ready to go to the next section just click next up here and so on any, to go back to this, any interactive um, multimedia um, items will be found here, and I highly encourage you to click on them and, and read through them and to check those out as well. Um, assignments, okay, you'll have a, a, a Wiley Plus assignment for each chapter. Your first assignment is already up. Just click on this right here, and you can see the assignment right here. You click on it and you jump right into it, okay? All the settings for the assignments are listed here. You have unlimited attempts per question. However, after you get to your fifth attempt or so, you start to lose points on each question, okay? So just be mindful of that. So if you start to struggle on a problem after, after two or three attempts, shoot me an email and I'll help you out on that. All right, if you down, want to download the e-text, just click here and you can download your own e-text copy. It's pretty straightforward once you get registered into the system. After that, there'll be a tab for each, um, each chapter of the textbook here, your midterm, and then after spring break, there will be another tab, let me show you, for each other chapter we include, and then the final exam, All right? I will open up these as I complete them for you, or, or as they become ready for you. So when you first click on the chapter one, that's what we'll be doing for our first two weeks of the class. Each of the chapter pages will look roughly the same. There'll be a little introduction to what we're covering in the chapter, kind of like an overview, a checklist that you should follow for that chapter. OK, and please follow that checklist in that order. It's designed to help you. Um, then there'll be two folders. There'll be a folder for any readings and lectures. So when I click on this, they'll take you a link if you want to, instead of going through the home page right here to your chapter reading and any videos that I record for you. So the first week um, is just a lot of reading and there's not a lot of video lectures for me, but I do have a short video recorded for you there. As the weeks go on, I'll have longer and longer videos for you. So that's the reading and lectures. And then after that, 
Once you've done completed the reading and lectures, click on the folder for the chapter assignments. And during your first two weeks of the class, you actually have three graded assignments. You have your welcome forum, kind of an introduction to yourself, include that you've registered in Wiley Plus. You should participate by responding to two of your fellow students' posts. The due dates here of these are strictly monitored, so please make sure you have them completed by those dates. Those are to ensure that people have time to also participate. And then there's the chapter one discussion. So after you read the chapter, there's a little bit of a write up about it um, and also due dates for this. So this needs to be in by January 28th and then also the participation requirement. After you've completed the two discussion forums, there's a link here if you want that will take you directly to your chapter one assignment. All right, class, I know that was a real quick introduction to the course, um, but as always, I have um, will answer any questions you have via email or, or the general questions forum. Also, if you want to swing by my office hours and chat with me, I'd love to meet you in person. Looking forward to working with you all, class. Thank you.